Right, we're back out again this morning. Up at Harbottle in Northumberland. As you can see, typical British summer. So it's a bit raining, but I've got my poncho and my hat. So we're going to go off into the woods, up on the top there, have an explore on the woods, and head over down to Holy Stone and back. So it'll probably about a six mile walk. And uh, have fun in the rain. <laughs> but you know, if you only go out when it's sunny, you probably only go out twice a year. So we're, yeah, we'll head off, see what we can find as always. And uh, yeah, let's go out and have an adventure. Right, so we've just left our bottle village and walked east up the road and met the forestry track. There's the road down there. So we've just left and we're just gonna head up head up this track now into the forest. Um we're about three quarters of a mile from Harbottle now. And uh yeah. Have a wander, see what we can see. Um might head down into Holy Stone. There's a little place there called Holy Stone Well. It's in the video, it was one of my first ever videos years ago where I went there so I might go back down there again it's really nice and uh see and see I think there's some crags to see there's hard bottle in the distance there views aren't that good today because obviously because of the mist and the rain but there you go and uh <laughs> yes there's rain again right that's crap thankfully there's no red flag flying today so, must be too wet for the army. Looks like coming out in the rain. No, I'm only joking. Very proud of our British forces. But yes, so, anyway, we're not going to get shot at. Or we shouldn't, anyway. So, crack on. He got a bit wet, but uh, I got like a raincoat from a couple of years back. He just doesn't like it. He just, yeah, you know, doesn't like something wrapped around him. So he's happy though, aren't you? Eh? You happy? The shop dry off if that sun comes out. If not, I've got a towel from in the car. But it's all part of the fun, as they say. Right, all I'm going to show you is here is how we'll have to edit the videos so the camera gets put down on a tripod and then you see me walking towards the camera right now. So I'm going to show you what happens in real life so you appreciate all the extra legwork we do just to give you a lovely video. So here's the video in real time. I've put the camera down. So we're going to walk back up the path, a couple of yards or so, so you get a decent amount of video. See, so get without that tree there. And then at this point, I turn, and that's where the previous video would start. So you would see me on the finished video walking down towards the camera. So every time you see a shot like that, I'm having to walk forward or back, set up the camera and then do the walk. So it makes it look better for you guys. There you go, that's how you do that. So this is the other type where I've put the camera down and now I'm walking away from the camera off on my walk but obviously in real life I've got to come back pick up the camera again and then go down on the walk again so like before it's all about putting the camera where you want it getting the shot 
And then the, here I am look. So the video would have stopped there on my finished cut. Here I am having to walk all the way back up this hill to come and pick up my camera. And then obviously I'll walk back down and continue on the walk. So some of the things you've got to do to keep all my viewers happy. <laughs> up the hill pretty much I think I'm at the top now the only problem is obviously all that's been felled so it's open right up to the elements so it's a little bit windier and uh, as you can see quite a bit rainy but uh, I'm actually having fun believe it or not so we'll crack on see if we find somewhere to shelter for a cup of tea or something and uh yeah how are you son <laughs> hello yay he's all right man right let's keep That's where we've just come up from, up through the woods to here. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. I'm glad I didn't stand on there. It would have been ant o'clock. So yeah, so it's kind of forest. Come down this little footpath, then uh, back into the woods, and we'll take a left at the river. And down a lot of way towards Holy Stone. And for now, the rain has stopped. So, I might find somewhere just to stop and have a drink while it's dry. So, but we'll have a look down here, see if we can find some, some a little seat or something. Look at that. Blue sky. Yeah me. Stop raining. The sun is coming out. So it's about half past twelve now and I'm getting hungry. So I wanna find somewhere to stop and just have something. I've got a one of them little Hot shot and meals, um, cook shots, whatever they're called. A Mars bar and a can of coke. So I popped in the little shop there when I parked the car. Very friendly. Lovely little village store. So if you're passing, pop in there. Um, I put the name of it on here. I do forget. I'm getting old, you know. Right, anyway. So I've been wrecking. Um, see if I can find any little wild cam spots because I quite fancy a camp in the woods. I haven't done that yet. Um, and I found a perfect one. Um, didn't really want to video it though. I put the location just yet. Because, um, you know, I think it's all about getting out there and finding them yourself. Using your maps. Going for walks. Stumbling across places. Like obviously, if I do the video and someone asks and says, where is that? I would really like to go, fair point, but uh, you know, it's all about just finding them yourself and what works for you. So yes, I've seen that, and I'll definitely 
I've marked that on my map. I shall be coming back here. Don't know when, but I will return. Uh, from where I've left the car, it's about three miles, so it's not that far to walk with my kit. It's not far at all, really, three miles. Um, but I'm going back this way um, via Holy Stone. So you could probably park at Holy Stone and it'd probably only be a two mile walk. So, anyway, but uh, yes, yeah, another shot on the spot. That's another little result. So I've got the Boffy to do, I've got the Wild Camp in the Woods to do, I've got the Great Glen Way to walk. So, yes, all these little things are starting to add up. Um, look at that, brilliant sunshine now. This pond show, I've just recently got it. Um, I'll put the description on the on the video. Um, it's great. Like normally I wear waterproofs and I end up sweating. And it's like a boiling the you know, boiling the bag as people say. It's like a sauna suit and you're just red hot. But this it's it's ideal because you're still getting the air underneath, you know, the airflow, so I'm really happy with it. It's got a hood, but I prefer my hat. Um the only thing probably see I don't know if you can see in a second and lovely legs is obviously all the water runs down off the pond shore downwards gravity so the little learning curve next time put my gaiters on that'll keep my socks and my boots dry my boots are pretty dry inside but the tops of my socks are wet but that's nothing but you know when you just think like if I put my gaiters on that solves that issue. Um, so yeah, so at this point in time, I'd much prefer the pond show to any waterproofs. And also, you can use the pond show as a top to go with your tent, which I'm gonna have a go at. Next time I get my tent out, I'm gonna have a little bit of play and uh, set the top up, maybe as a porch area, or just like a, a canopy. Um, you can use it as a sheet to lie on, a sheet to sit on, just a ground sheet. You could nearly use it as like a little shelter. Um, so yeah, and obviously it goes over the top of your rucksack if it's if you've just got a day pack on. So it's lightweight and it folds away no problem. So yeah, it ticks all the boxes. So yes, I'm happy with that. But I'll put the link in um, in the YouTube description. I've noticed quite a few people do that, you know, with their kit and their products and they put the link on and I actually I only really just noticed it and I thought what a great idea because sometimes you see people using stuff and you know you think that's that's great that's something that I would like but yeah don't really know what it is or where they got it from so I'm uh, hopefully going to have a go at doing that and uh, put some links in so you can see what sort of kit I take out with this on my hikes on my camps and uh, yeah, and then I'll see if I'll say I'm happy with it and it's a good piece of kit and you're looking for something similar, you know, you can go to that outlet and have a look and browse their products and at least you know I've reviewed it. So yeah, so great. So we shall carry on and stop somewhere for a bit of lunch shortly. So keep watching. Just at Holy Stone Wood Car Park. Just found myself a little picnic table. I'm gonna make myself a bit of food. One of these cup shot things. I think it'll be quite tasty, so they're very light to carry. So basically, I'll just show you what I'm gonna do. So there's my little cook system. Um, I've recently purchased a couple of wind guards. Um, just makes bit more fuel efficiency when you can keep it out the wind it means the heat's going straight on the pan so all I'm going to do is basically that's me cup I'm going to have me food in so I've measured out one cup of water put it in there just the companies come with little holding pins up as you can see you just lift them up and then you can just move it around you suit yourself Put that on there. Turn the gas on. 
And all that's out. And there, like so. And just put, put the lid on. Again, just makes it a bit more fuel efficient, keeps more of the heat in the pan so the water boils quicker. And that's it basically. Leave it a couple of minutes, boils, and then you can add your food. So yeah. So this is the little spot. Holy Stone Woods. It's owned by the Forestry Commission. Um, as you can see the sun's out now shining through the trees. So I've the the waterproofed the bag. In other words, I've took the rain cover off. And I've took my poncho off. Get a bit of air on it. Uh, someone must be out for a walk there in the white car. It's not mine. So yeah, so we're gonna have this, and then we're gonna go down, head down towards Ladies Well, get some video of that, which is really a stunning little place. It's quite, quite strange, but uh, beautiful. But you'll see that for yourself shortly. And then uh, back up through the woods. And back down to where I parked the car. So I hope you're enjoying the video so far. I am. I'm really enjoying being out today. And uh, he's having a bit smell about. But it's, uh, it's good. So, yeah, so I'll get me dinner and then we'll continue on. See, you know, that little Amazon stove, you know. It's, uh, I think, well, off Amazon, obviously, that's why it's called an Amazon stove. It's a great little piece of cake, you know. Like, I know you can get jet boils and pocket rockets and all the rest of it, and I no doubt they are really, really good, but that does the job. Okay, you might have to wait another minute for the water to boil, but personally, are you really in that much of a hurry? But anyway, I'm going to get me dinner because I'm getting starving. So, keep watching. So here I am, back at Ladies Well, I say years ago, it was one of my first ever YouTube videos I think, uh, it's probably still on here, so, look at this though, beautifully, beautifully clear, I've took some uh, photos there, of some signs, which sort of explains what it is, why it's here. But it's a lovely little lake. Well, sorry, it's not really a lake, is it? It's a, a pool. Pool. But when you think, all these trees dropping the leaves in here, so somebody must come and clean it, I take it. That tree's had some visitors, look. All the initials on. That Roman picnic table. So you would come here. Oh look, you must be able to leave some money and make a wish. So there you go. Twenty pence to whoever. So be though. All the people used to come here, have a break before going off the borders or the coast or the west Pennines, wherever. This must have been a good little spot to stop. Let your horses have a drink or yourself or bathe. So yeah, well anyway, that's Ladies Well at Holy Stone. So peaceful. I'm surprised no one's put a fish in there. <laughs> uh, don't get any ideas. I was only joking. Shouldn't have fish in it. But uh, I tell you what, if there was a fish in there, I'd probably be quite happy. You know. Right. Onwards we shall go. Out the Holy Stone Well. 
across the little field and up through this ancient woodland and then we're just coming back out onto the top of the new sort of forestry commission land with the new timber in the new trees um, and then we're just going to meet up with the, the forestry tracks and sort of head back down to towards the village where we started from it's been a fantastic day actually I just I'd been to Holy Stonewell before but I hadn't done this walk and uh, I just planned it myself using the OS map and uh, so far so good it's worked out really really well it's been a little walk and uh, yeah so I'm getting used to the map reading getting a bearing and uh, yeah, it's all part of learning, isn't it? Just going out and testing yourself and, you know, not in the middle of nowhere, but just, you know, try try a map where there's some quite obvious landmarks or quite obvious paths, so you kind of get really too lost. I use View Ranger on the phone as well. This is a backup, which is a really good app. If you haven't got it, you should get it. Um, good for just checking where your location is and then you can cross reference that on your OS map or on the map on view ranger and just check you are heading in the right direction so yeah so we're just going to continue on enjoying this I think we're in for a little rain shower again we've had a good hour of sunshine you can't really complain as you can see no rain shower above we I don't know if you can really make it out on the camera, but it's chucking it down. So, we'll just come to have two minutes in the woods, under the treetops, for a little bit of shelter. Uh, so, I think we're about a mile from the car, so we could still just walk through this if we need to do. But, we'll just give it a minute to see if it passes. Oh, right, yeah, we are back at Harbottle in Northumberland. Um, just check your watch, eight miles, eight mile walk, well, eight mile hike up and around the forests to Holy Stone Well. So, had a great time, even if it rained and then the sun came out and then it's rained again. That's all part of the phone. So, yes, and we poncho back on. And we're just going to get back to the car and uh, yeah, get the heaters on, get home. So, fantastic walk though. I'd recommend it. Really nice. And uh, got a couple of cheeky little wild camp spots for a heat out as well. So, that's as always a little bonus. I'll definitely do this one again. Right. Don't forget, please hit the like button and click the subscribe. I think when I left this morning, I think I was up to about 98. So I'm so close to that magical 100 subscribers. So it's probably going to happen soon. And then there'll be a little cheeky giveaway. Thanks for watching. Take care. Over and out.